and welcome. My name is Jacob from the German YouTube channel Breaking Lab and I'm going to talk with you all about how it is to get your master's degree in Heilbronn and therefore we have two universities. We have the TUM, the Technical University of Munich and we have the HHN, the Heilbronn University. Um, and we are going to talk about how it is for you to study here. We are going to talk about how it is to study here when you're from abroad especially in times of Corona. And also we're going to talk about why it's a good idea to make your master degree here, or maybe why not? We're going to talk about it honestly, I think. So let's start. Um, Professor Müller, you're from the TUM, from the Technical University of Munich. Can you tell us what is special about the master degree at the TUM? Yes. So uh, first of all, um, also welcome to everybody from my side. Um, the Master in Management is the program uh, which we have here at TUM and uh, the, special, uh, the speciality of this program is that we have a technical oriented approach which means that um, one prerequisite for us is that our students have a bachelor degree in um, natural science or engineering. So they should have a technical background or a natural science background and then we'd like to combine their knowledge with what we can offer in terms of management and especially um, with our specializations that we have here um, with regard to the two centers in Heilbronn, uh, which is the Center for Digital Transformation and our Global Center for Family Enterprise. Okay, so if you have a bachelor degree in a technical point, uh, you can come here and make your master degree with a financial background or a economical management background. Yeah, it's really a broad program. It's not only finance, even though I'm a finance professor, but it's really a broad program in management. And we like to educate uh, and, and um, develop responsible leaders who can then, um, for instance, work in um, um, global companies. But also um, we'd like to develop responsible leaders who can, for instance, um, pursue a career in academia. That's also an option that um, is important for us. And um, the program is, as I have said, broad, but with the specialization in the two fields of digital transformation and family enterprises, which is something that is really also important for this region here and really one um, yeah, important um, way to distinguish this region from other regions, for instance, in Germany. We might talk about this also later. Right, we're going to talk about why Heilbronn, the city we're in here and where the university is, is a special region because there are many companies that are uh, pretty successful but also have some German special points uh, we're going to talk about. But first, um, Professor Dillerup, uh, you're from the Heilbronn University. Can you tell us what uh, can people study here and what is special about it? Yeah. So let's say we are uh, from Heilbronn University. We are rooted here in this region for a long time, for more than 50 years. Uh, and we are really proud to, to be in this region. And the region is a very international region in a way that we know there are global players here big brands uh, which are worldwide active, but we also have a lot of companies who are doing very international business. So therefore, we need to be very international. And we also have some of our programs, uh, most of our programs are in German, um, but we also have some programs which are completely delivered in English. And we also have some programs which are partly delivered in English, um, which is mainly in the field of uh, software engineering, with, in the field of tourism, international business and management. Okay. So these are the fields where we teach in English because we think the language of business, the language of informatics is obviously English. Sure. And um, if you want to study at the TUM, you have to have a technical background. Uh, how is it when you come to the Heilbronn University? Do you also have to have a bachelor degree uh, of science or is it possible to come there with a bachelor degree of arts? Now, our philosophy is uh, that we are doing consecutive programs, which means you should have a degree, a bachelor's degree of, in the same discipline where you would like to do your, uh, your master, which is true for all the full-time programs. We also have uh, part-time programs delivered in English, which are normally in cooperation with international partners. And this is uh, a little bit the same idea. We are open there for various backgrounds. So you need to have a bachelor of any kind 
and then you can uh, go into the MBA, into the business field in the part-time se segment. In the full-time segment, we um, are always looking for the um, more or less suitable bachelor background for the masters. Okay, so when you have a bachelor, it doesn't matter which point and which um, subject it was, you can come here because we have like everything here. We, we already talked about Heilbronn as a special region. Can you tell us why it is a special region? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it was already partly mentioned. So it's a kind of really an economically important area in Germany. I would say one of the most important areas in Germany, even though Heilbronn is not a city that is quite often heard about when you are abroad. But anyway, in, in terms of the economic importance, it's um, really one of, as I said, one of the most important regions in Germany. And what distinguishes this area um, is indeed the fact that we have companies that are, as we say, hidden champions, that are really global companies, um, globally active companies, as you said it, um, but that are typically not recognized to the same extent as, for instance, DAX companies. Yeah, so companies that are listed in one of these major German stock indices, um, you don't hear the names so often. But still, they are important for the German economy. And they are also, um, they have different subjects. They have different topics compared to these um, yeah, other companies. And that's why we decided to have a specialization here also, which is directly focused on um, family enterprises in this region. Okay, so we have family enterprises that are pretty successful. Actually, it's a part in Germany where the most successful family companies um, are placed. So um, that's a, a big point. But also, we have um, companies that, um, that are global. They're in the whole world uh, selling their parts, but they produce here in Heilbronn. So if you study here, you have a big chance to get to one of those companies, right? Definitely, yeah, definitely. So the job perspectives um, are very good, no matter if you decide to study at the Hochschule Heilbronn or, you, if, or if you decide to um, take our master program, the job perspectives are excellent in both cases. And especially in this region, so the unemployment rate is very low. For instance, um, that speaks for, definitely speaks for studying in Heilbronn. Okay, yeah. And I think it's, it's even, even a, a bigger demand. So we have see a lot of companies who would like to grow faster mm. if they would have enough uh, talents. So I think this is uh, really not only that there's a low unemployment rate, so there's a huge demand and companies are highly in interested in integrating um, and cooperating with the universities here mm. to do um, or to attract uh, talents. So this is a good place to come, to work and to live. Okay. We will talk about uh, how it is to study here. But first, let me mention, if you have any questions about anything regarding the, to study in Heilbronn, uh, you can write it and I will see it and um, people, we can, we can answer it. Um, so the first question is already coming in and it's um, that there's a person who is not German and uh, wants to pursue a career in Germany, I guess. Um, so how is it? Do you have to speak the German language if you want to have a career here in Germany? Do you want to? Yeah, I, f I think if you are active in Germany, there are a lot of companies who even speak in business um, English. But of course, if you want to really communicate with the people, if you really want to socialize, if you really want to be uh, in Germany as your to, to place to live, you should be um, willing to learn some German, uh, even for all the international students who come here for a, a semester or an exchange program. Uh, even for them, we say it's not only important to be able to order a beer or a glass of wine, um, out there, but if you later on want to work here, it's definitely a benefit. But there are a lot of um, opportunities to learn German while you are here. Does the university help the students from abroad to learn German? Yeah. 
Yeah. We offer them uh, classes uh, in German of various levels. And there is a lot of uh, support which is possible here. And uh, I think if you're here in Germany if, if, and if you study in Germany, you should definitely use this opportunity. Yeah, maybe I can add on that. So our, our program is taught entirely in English. So f in terms of your studies, it's not a problem if yeah. you don't speak German at the moment. So that's really not the issue. But really, if you decide to live here, then I would uh, agree that it's a plus to be able to communicate with those people around you. And to be honest, there is the point that in this region, well, of course, many people understand English, but they communicate in German. So it is better for you, um, for your normal living, if you are also able to speak at least, well, a bit or at least fluent mm -hmm. in German. So that's, that's what I would say. But as um, you also said, we support students. So our program managers will take care of you and will guide you to the courses that you can take to learn German. So if you speak English only and you want to study here, that's not a problem but probably you will learn German when you come here because mm -hmm. the university supports you. And also, if you're in Germany, you're going to talk German anyways because uh, you're going out, you're going to meet new people. Um, so that's probably a, a good point. Yeah. You should also take it as a plus, as an advantage. Mm -hmm. You are able now to learn another foreign language. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's wonderful, I would say. So for international students, um, you should consider this as an opportunity, not as an obstacle. So that's definitely a chance if you come here. Yeah. You're going to go, uh, you're going to learn German, which will help probably in your life. So if I, if I decide to study my, or make my master in Heilbronn, how is, uh, how, what, what do I have to expect? What do I have to do? How much time do I have to invest? And we have Corona at the moment. How is it if I come from abroad and want to study here, but there's still Corona? Maybe we start with Tom. Yeah, so uh, we had a discussion just yesterday actually about how we want to structure our teaching in the winter term. So for the summer term, um, we were forced to make the decision quite abruptly because, I mean, suddenly a Corona popped up and we decided to switch everything to online teaching and the, tra um, the, the transfer worked quite well. So um, the feedback that we received from the student is that online teaching really works. But of course, there's also the demand from the students to go back to on-site in class, in-person teaching, uh, which we can, of course, fully understand. And TUM is also a university that likes to teach people in small groups on-site campus. And uh, so we decided for the winter term to offer a hybrid structure for our lectures and exercises here in, in TUM. And for this hybrid structure, uh, the idea is that we re allow students who are able or who are already here in Hebron to return to our classes and then we teach them in person. But at the same time, we have streaming opportunities. We have the technical equipment, uh, which allows us also, or which allows foreign students also to participate in case they are, for instance, not allowed to come to Germany. And this is something that at the moment is very difficult to predict. Okay, but it will probably change while the people are making the masters. So someday they will have to come here. So I'm, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this crisis will be over sometime. And then our plan is to return to the, the personal kind of teaching style that we have. And that's a plus of our campus here for the tomb in Heilbronn because we really have a very nice faculty to student ratio um, in which we as faculty are able to teach students really in small group sizes. How many people are in a group? So, I mean, that depends on whether we're talking about mandatory courses or electives, um, but it's typically for the mandatory courses between 20 and 30 students and for the electives it, it's even less. So we are talking about groups of 10 people, for instance. Oh, that, that's yeah. great. If you want to learn, you have uh, a very small group and yes. uh, it's very interactive, I guess. That's, that's uh, what we like to go for, yes. That's the, the point of the TUM and uh, the University of Heilbronn, is it the same? It's almost uh, the same. We are also focusing on really small groups of a lot of interaction. Uh, so group size is normally 
2025 in the core modules and in electives it might be even less. Uh, so we also love to have these classes in, uh, on, on campus, in person, to have the interaction. Of course we also recognized there will be a new normal after Corona and obviously there will be some uh, digital elements but clearly our message is we are not an online provider. Uh, we do this if, po if necessary and let's say if there's a second wave nobody can, uh, uh, can say what, what will happen but definitely we plan to have the classes here uh, on campus and currently the regulations would be that for the next winter semester for small groups like this uh, it should be possible. Okay. We talked about online classes and one of the questions from the community is we mentioned also digitalization, what is a part of online classes. Can you give examples how you teach digitalization at the university? So maybe this refers to what I said earlier with regard to our um, specializations that we have. So the structure here in TUM is that we established two centers, as I said, digital transformation and global um, family enterprises because we believe that employers here in these regions have a demand for these tasks, for these fields, and also because they are important in terms of research. And I can give you a concrete example about my teaching in terms of digitalization. I offer a course about digital finance. And in digital finance, we talk about recent developments that we see in the financial industries that have really reshaped the way of banking. So we talk, for instance, about uh, the emergence of uh, cryptocurrencies, the emergence of robo-advisory, which challenges the traditional way of financial advice, for instance, or peer-to-peer -peer lending. So uh, ideas in which a lot more is done um, between subjects online and without intermediaries such as banks. And this is now only my um, subject, only finance, but in the different fields of management, we have similar specializations as opportunities for students to teach, uh, to, 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 uh, to participate. Okay. How is it at the University of Heilbronn? I think digitalization is one of the key uh, topics and we try to integrate this in almost every program. So we are moving all the programs into a more digital um, perspective. So this is integrated in all areas, but we are also adding additional courses which are only focusing on this topic. So such as uh, big data analysis, which is more or less now in, in, in most uh, programs um, a core element. And we are also adding additional programs so we are currently working on doubling our capacities in the field of business informatics. So we are also catching up with this uh, development in a way that we see it's not a digital and a non-digital world. We need to move everything into the digital age and therefore we need to integrate this in all our programs. Okay, so all every, everything you learn here is pretty modern pretty useful in the modern world and in the world of digitalization, I guess. So we have another question from the community and it's about going abroad and internalization. Um, can you tell us about what do the students can expect here? So in our master program, students have the opportunity to go abroad for one semester. We have partners all over the world. Um, if you are interested in um, the names of these partners, you can check also our online webinars that we offer over the course of these uh, three days. And uh, so you have the opportunity not only to stay here in Heilbronn, but you can also select from partner universities and, and go abroad. Okay. And at the University of Heilbronn? So if I just take um, our Master in Management, for example, we are um, offering the opportunity uh, to have the international experience in various ways. So our normal duration is three semesters, um, but most students go abroad and uh, extend it into four semesters, which allows them the opportunity to make this experience of being abroad for half a year. Um, on the one side, uh, we have created a lot of double degree opportunities 
So, which means you can earn two degrees uh, while you do the studies in a combined way with a partner university. And of course, we also have a very international um, atmosphere here, as uh, it's not only us having students uh, sending out, uh, but we also have a lot of incoming students. So we have a quite international um, atmosphere, in, especially in the master programs. It's an interesting point. You talk about atmospheres. If I come from abroad and probably the people won't know Heilbronn, what can I expect living in Heilbronn as a student? Is it, uh, is it a city with many students? Uh, are there um, bars and, uh, uh, I don't know, events mm -hmm. for students? Uh, what can I expect? I would do you want to say or should oh, just go ahead? Maybe with a Munich background, it's easier to talk about. Actually, Harvard. I don't have this <laughs> Munich background, but anyway, you can say everything that I missed. And, and um, so, the, what I would say is that for student life, Bronn probably has exactly the right size. So it's mm -hmm. not a city that is as huge as Munich is, but it's not also not a small city. So you can enjoy everything that you expect from you know, the normal university or, or normal student life. Um, so that's, um, that's nice to have. And it's also a very nice, vibrant and developing city. So this campus that maybe we, you see in the back, this campus has just been built up. So this is really new and developing. And two years ago, you haven't seen this. So it's really um, a, new de uh, a new development and um, um, a nice environment, I would say. Right. So all the buildings here uh, you're going yeah, to study new. in are very new, like yeah. brand new. Some are only one year old, some are five years old, but none of this is pretty old. So uh, it's, it's very modern. But uh, you're from Heilbronn, maybe you can add something. So I'm living here now for 20 years. <laughs> and to be honest, before I came here, um, I wasn't that familiar with the region either. Um, in the meantime, I really like the area and I really like uh, the city and it's also a brilliant place to study. Um, but this is from an international perspective maybe something really special. Germany itself has some major cities, probably you all know Berlin and Munich and Hamburg, uh, maybe Cologne, but there are so many um, medium-sized cities like Heilbronn which are not that familiar but they have a very good uh, um, atmosphere, it's a good place to live. You've got everything you need. Um, there are a, a lot of bars and so on, so you can mm -hmm. have a, a, a lot of student life. Of course, it's not a student city with more students than other uh, people living there. So uh, it, it's not a typical student city, but you have everything you, you, you need. There is student life. Um, we have a very strong economy around. We have a beautiful uh, landscapes around. So it's really worth living and studying here. For example, Heilbronn uh, also has a lot of parks. It has a river. Um, I'm not from Heilbronn, but I uh, walked through the city and it's, it's pretty beautiful. It's, uh, it's not that small. There are, how, how many people are living in Heilbronn? It's, it's, uh, the city of Heilbronn itself is 125,000. Mm. But if we add the twin city of Neckars-Ulm and uh, the villages around, it's almost uh, a quarter of a million, which mm. is it's okay. It's a not, good not small to, to have everything. And how many students are here in Heilbronn? So we are close to um, close to ten thousand. Mm. So of course this is in relation to other cities. Um, it's a developing student city. And we are fast growing. We are probably one of the fastest growing uh, cities in terms of student numbers, which is really changing a lot. There's a lot of dynamic here. Yeah. So we see this dynamic as well. For, for TUM, we have the goal to have 1,000 students here um, in um, Heilbronn, in our campus. But of course, this is only a small campus for TUM. Um, anyway, we have this ambitious goal to increase our students' numbers by a lot. Mm. Uh, and so this is expanding and developing, which is not, I mean, which is not the worst thing for a student to come here. Sure, it's uh. everything is new. It's small groups, so it's uh, 
probably better to learn, but also it's growing very fast. So probably in some years, uh, it's a, going to be a very big university city or at least a big university campus um, that probably will be known probably around the world, I guess. That is that is we're the goal here in Heilbronn. We're working on that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, uh, I think I think we're going there. Do you have any questions uh, from the chat? Maybe um, otherwise, why people are writing? I hope they are writing. Uh, do you have other things you want to mention about studying and uh, getting your master degree in Heilbronn? Maybe something that was not really mentioned so far is the difference between what we offer as TUM and mm -hmm. what the Hochschule Bronn offers. And I believe that this is really uh, important now mm -hmm. for people who have to make a decision now. What, what is the best course for them and, or what is the best offer for them? So I would say if you want to study at TUM, probably one differentiation is that we as a university have really this, also this scientific um, orientation and uh, this, this focus also towards academia. So for those of you who think about not only becoming a responsible leader in, um, in a company, um, but who might also be interested in um, having a career in academia, I think that the TUM is really um, a very good opportunity for you. And uh, we, have all, we are top placed in all these rankings. Uh, so uh, this really shows that um, um, we are an interesting place for students to study. It's also an excellence only, right? Yes, so in Germany we have this uh, excellence initiative and um, TUM is one of the universities who has received that um, from the government. Okay. Maybe you want to add up because yeah. uh, there, are, there are differences in both uh, universities. Uh, maybe you want to add yeah. something. But I think it was already uh, mentioned in the way the main track or uh, the main difference. Uh, so if we see TUM as a, uh, with a tradition of being a research university, we have the tradition of being in a university of applied science, yeah. which means we are focusing on the application, on being close to the business, close to um, also to, to the region and all the industries we've got here. So probably if you want to become a researcher, it's not uh, um, the first choice to come to us, but if you want to do your career in, in a company, I think we've, we can probably offer a lot with all the um, sound um, education. Uh, we have all, uh, we are fulfilling all the academic standards. We are highly ranked in the, on the national level, but we also um, in the international accreditation standards. So I think this is a state-of-the-art education, very, um, very much focused on a career in industry, in the, the various industries we are focused on. Okay, great. I think we got many information, so uh, probably if you want to decide where to study, you have many if your informations uh, you need. Also, we have some informations on our website, so you can check it out. You can get more information there. Um, and I think if there are no questions and uh, you don't want to add anything else, I think that's it. That's the most important information, and I hope you can decide now where to study. So thank you a lot and uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>